Hey there, Linux enthusiasts. Welcome back to Ton Does Linux. Today we're diving into the exciting new Chaos 2025.05 release that just dropped. If you're not familiar with Chaos, it's an independent built from scratch Linux distribution with a laser focus on Qt and KDE. Let's explore the key changes, improvements, and new features in this release. KOS 2025.05 is now completely Qt5 free, marking a major milestone. The transition to Qt6 enhances performance and modernizes features. Developers urge app maintainers to speed up Qt6 porting. This shift showcases KOS's commitment to cutting-edge KDE development, ensuring a stable, compatible, and forward-looking environment for all users. KOS 2025.05 brings the latest KDE updates with Plasma 6.3.5, KDE Gear 25.04.1, and Frameworks 6.14.0. Dolphin now supports right-to-left languages, enhancing accessibility. KRDC improves remote desktop features, while Ocular boosts digital signing. Falcon enhances privacy with WebSocket blocking. These updates ensure a modern, inclusive, and secure KDE experience. The new toolchain in KOS 2025.05 is built on GlyBC 2.4.1, Binutils 2.44, and GCC 14.2.1, ensuring a robust foundation. Pipewire and the Linux kernel updates enhance audio and hardware support. Excitingly, BCA Chef's file system support is here, offering modern features like checksumming and encryption. This keeps chaos at the forefront of innovation. Nextcloud Client and Phonon MPV are exciting new additions, enhancing file sync and audio backend. SDDM now supports Wayland mode, paving the way for future transitions. Journaled offers a GUI for system logs, making log analysis easier. These updates make Chaos 2025.05 a powerhouse for KDE enthusiasts, blending innovation with user-friendly features. Chaos 2025.05 includes built-in microcode updates for enhanced security. For unified extensible firmware interface installations, systemd boot is used, ensuring a seamless experience. Cruiso, the configuration tool, offers user-friendly setup options. The default file system is XFS, known for its superior error detection and crash recovery capabilities. These features make KOS a robust choice for Linux enthusiasts. A few known issues. KOS can't install on RAID setups, and ISOs don't support Unitbootin or Rufus. Follow the download page for guidance. Excitingly, a new server provider ensures KOS's continued growth. If you're a KDE fan, this release is a must-try. Thanks for joining me on this KOS journey. Until next time.